Hi guys, Niall here and welcome back to the 8020 BIM channel. Uh, today we're very quickly going to go through the primary difference between importing and linking AutoCAD files into the Revit environment. Um, there's not many instances you might want to consider importing the AutoCAD file in Revit because you lose a lot of the functionality that comes along with uh, the linking dialogue. Uh, but there are one or two instances which we can consider an import as being a proper workflow. The primary difference between importing and linking is that with the import, the CAD data becomes embedded into your Revit file and loses all connection to the, to the original CAD drawing that was developed. That means that as your project progresses, if there's any alteration to that base CAD file, you cannot simply reload like you would in a historic AutoCAD X referencing format or within the Revit linked CAD dialog. What you actually need to do is you need to completely delete the imported CAD data and then re-import it and relocate it, which just doesn't make sense from a productive workflow perspective. So I'm very quickly going to show you an example of importing an AutoCAD file into Revit. And then I'm going to compare the primary difference between the two, which is that the link CAD file maintains its association back to the AutoCAD file so that updates can be caught in Revit as the CAD file progresses behind the scenes. So to start with, we're going to quickly this is our example. So we're going to quickly look at our example. Our example is just a simple house floor plan here. And this is our ground floor of the house, as you can see on top. And so in the Revit environment, I've already linked this. So I went into the insert and link Revit dialog. Um, so just to show you that it's already been inserted, if I go into manage, manage links, CAD formats, ground floor, I'm going to reload that. And as you can see in our ground floor plan, it's sitting origin to origin on the corner of the building there. Um, so to show the difference between how the two function, I want to illustrate how this will update with the changes in CAD in the background, but an import of the same will not update with any changes. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go back to our insert dialog and under our import tab, we want to select import CAD. We want to select our ground floor. We're going to pick current view only. We're going to set the colors to inverse so that we can tell the difference easily between the link and the imported file. We're going to leave everything else the same, except I'm manually going to position this one. So I'm going to press open. And as you can see, our inverted lines mean that our doors and our walls are now red and our windows and some of our dashed lines are presented yellows. So this is our imported CAD file on the right hand side. And this is our linked CAD file on the left hand side. So we're going to go back to the original CAD file and I'm going to make an alteration. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the link. And you'll see that this drawing on the left hand side will update with the change, but the drawing on the right hand side will not. So going back to the AutoCAD file, we can see that we have two tables here and we don't necessarily need two tables in our layout. So we're going to select the AutoCAD file and we're going to delete the table out of it. So then we're going to zoom extents by double click the middle mouse wheel and we're just going to save that quickly. So once we go back to our Revit environment, then we can go into our manage tab, manage links. We can go to our CAD formats. We can select the ground floor plan that we've just updated and we can press, press reload. But I want you to look at the tables in both instances. So both instances of the existing CAD file had two tables, whereas we've just updated us by removing one of them. So when we reload the update and press OK, you will see that on the linked file, we have the most recent version of the CAD file as it as it is being updated. But our own part remains that snapshot in time from the moment that we imported it. Under no circumstances will this change with any of the existing CAD data. If we wanted this to change alongside the CAD data, we will then have to go through a much more long-winded workflow whereby we'd have to select it because it's embedded in the Revit environment, we'd have to delete it then. And then we'd have to go back to our insert dialog, go into our import CAD, navigate to the ground floor, 
all the view settings are the same and press open and then we'd have to position it where we would need to be it by shared coordinates or origin to origin or in this case manual center and as you can see now it is updated with the most recent version of CAD but that is just a completely inefficient workflow compared to simply selecting the AutoCAD link in the manage links dialog apologies and simply pressing reload Another great thing about the manage links dialog uh, and linking the CAD in general is that every time you open the Revit file, you do not need to go through the process of ident identifying each of the CAD files that may have changed between saves on Revit. When you open the Revit file, it will automatically reload the CAD files. So if there's been any alterations while the Revit file has not been worked on, it will reload the most up-to-date version of the CAD link. Whereas of course, the imported CAD file will not do the same. So that's the primary difference between the two. Um, there are very few instances where importing is deemed a better option than linking. Importing increases the file size within Revit. It also can sometimes, the, the CAD data can join to the actual model geometry in Revit and create inconsistencies and, and, and make the program somewhat unstable. Uh, so there's very few instances. The only instance that I like to import AutoCAD files is when I am actually developing packs of 2D standard details that we already have had a library of in AutoCAD. So in the next video, I'm actually going to go through how you should best approach bringing your historic 2D standard details from AutoCAD into the Revit environment and quickly converting them to a functional Revit 2D drafting view that you can then draw down at any given project in the future from the project file that you're developing in Revit, be that inserting from file or appending them to your standard template. So yet again, my name is Niall. This was a quick run through of the difference between importing and linking AutoCAD files into Revit. I hope you have found it useful. Uh, we're also going to do another video now shortly after this one, which will go through how to control the visibility of your AutoCAD file within Revit so that you can quickly activate and deactivate the visibility of layers and change the presentation via color or line weights of the layers within Revit itself as well. So until next time, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you again. Bye bye.